All right, guys. So today I want to talk about I want to talk about the attempt to re shut down everything as coronavirus is kind of coming back and and causing a, an issue. Cases are spiked, uh, spiked on the rise, and so I wanted to just talk about something because I I watched a CNN clip and you know what they were saying was that people basically that. We're going to ignore these shutdown orders, just didn't care about people's lives and everything. But we need to put something into perspective. Just because you want to continue on and live your life and you don't and definitely want to be part of a shutdown or you own some type of business and you can't afford for that business to be closed because I don't know, maybe you have 15 years of your life in that business and you cannot afford to lose it. That does not mean that you don't care about lives. The, the, this idea that they they put out there and try and try to spin like you just don't care. If you were to if you were to follow their logic here for a second, right? If you were to follow their logic and say that we should only care about people living and dying, then we should never step foot, uh, you know, outside of our our homes. We should never take take a step outside because the second you go outside, you can I mean you can die in your house re realistically, but just just saying you can go get in your car, you can be in an accident during flu season, you can catch the flu, you could be one of those that pass away from that, uh, amongst many 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 other things uh, that are actually higher than COVID on the list. So for the majority of us, and they and I was I was actually watching about uh, they were talking to a barber I forget where he was from, but he owned a shop. He said, I think it was Texas, and he said he was just going to ignore the orders. To they gave him a cease and desist order, and he was just going to ignore it. And he expected to be to be fined and all that. And he said, Hey, I have to keep doing what I'm doing. And that's the reality. That the the thing that I have an issue with is what is the alternative, right? So you want to just close everything. The world doesn't work that way. And I'm sorry that, but this thing is not deadly enough to just stop everything you have to back up give people an opportunity to, de to decide for themselves now i know the big thing with this one is well you could give it to somebody else and in that case you're kind of encroaching upon their freedoms yes and no i would say that you let people do what they want to do those who wish to basically stay in their home for months and months and months until there's no sign of covid maybe do something where you you compensate are you you allow them to keep their jobs or whatever do something with the businesses but to just close everything down tell everybody to wear a mask it's it's it's, it's a dumb approach and it's not it's not a dumb approach because they're trying to save lives it's a dumb approach because it, to me the solution really doesn't make sense because what is the goal Right. What is the goal? I thought initially it was to flatten the curve. Now, when we were sacrificing all of this stuff, everyone was investing tons of money for people to work from home, schools being shut down, all this stuff. We, we said we have to hit it hard. We have to flatten the curve. Did, did it happen? Yes, it happened. And then, of course, all of a sudden cases go on the rise and it's a bad is a bad thing. And but, you know, we want to talk about it being uh, you know, people just on vacation or people going to the beach, people doing this, doing that. But no one stopped and said the protest, right? Which clearly, clearly I, I feel had uh, a part in the, the spike, right? Because, you you know, basically you have it 14 days or so before you even know. So the timing is kind of there. But the reality is, we can't you can't keep stuff closed down. That's just not an option. So my my question would be to anyone who's saying we need to keep everything closed down. Well, for how long? I mean, for how long? My what I say is we let our immune systems do what they're supposed to do. God gave us these immune systems for a reason. And we've like I said, we've never shut down anything like this. It's not beneficial to anybody and it's not helping anybody. And CNN is so blatantly just fear mongering and using this at, uh, politically. It is so obvious. I literally cannot watch CNN for longer than 15 minutes at a time. I just I cannot. I do not understand how people 
can watch it and think that it's the actual truth. It's the reality. I can deal with Fox News a bit better. I think Fox is actually a lot better, but the stuff that CNN, CNN wastes so much time just being negative and not reporting actual news. And every time I put it on a CNN clip or, or throw CNN on Hulu or whatever, they got the COVID stuff up there, the deaths, they, all, they want it in your face every step of the way because they want you just to be fearful. They don't want you to live your life. They want to control you. They want to be your daddy. That's the thing. I don't need a daddy. I'm grown. I can make my own decisions. I need you to let me make my decisions, right? And if I feel like I'm coming down with something or I'm getting sick, I will be responsible and I will make sure that I withdraw myself from public. But it's like, now my wife can tell you this, if, if I go to a place and they tell me I need a mask, I go somewhere else. Somewhere else can get my money. Just plain and simple. Because I'm tired of being inconvenienced. I'm tired of being told what to do like a child. Uh, oh, you don't know what's good for you. You don't know. And, and you know, CNN, the, the same tactics, right? Because when they, they were talking to the barber and he said, you know, we got like a, what, less than 1% chance of this. And she's like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me stop you there. Let me stop you there. Uh, we're not doctors. I'm sorry, you have to be a doctor to understand percentages. You got you got to be a rocket scientist or something. You, I, I mean, they, it kills me when they when they act like people can't have a brain and be able to actually read a report. If, if half the stuff I deal with, I guarantee you, is far more complicated than any anything those news anchors have to deal with. Far more complicated. I can read a report. I can read and understand what numbers mean. And more than that, CNN has to create an atmosphere where, where they have to detach the, you, you know, reality from everything. Because if you walk outside, and like I said, most of us, I would say probably personally, don't know anyone with COVID. And the few of us that do, probably don't know many that died from it, if, 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 if any. I personally know someone that had it, and my wife personally knows someone that had it. Now, I excuse me, I don't know anyone that's died from it. Um, I think my, my, my dad may, uh, a couple of older people, but it's not like, like to me, pandemic is like, people are dropping like flies. Like I think, uh, I think about the, uh, the, the flu, I can't even remember when it was, if it was the 1800s or whatever, but killed between 40 and 50 million people. 40, 50 million people. COVID is at what, half a million worldwide, 140,000, 138,000, something like that in the United States. That's not pandemic level. And as worse as as bad as this thing can get, I don't think it can get much worse. I think it's running through all of the hosts that it has available. That you, it's only so many people it can actually affect. I don't believe that all this lockdown nonsense is actually working because of how contagious it is. You could be as careful as you want, but you know, germs are germs, and if, if it's highly contagious there's a good chance you're going to get it. You could walk around with your little mask or whatever. You, you could do, you know, whatever you want, but that's not going to stop you from getting it. And so I think that we've just blown this way out of proportion. I think they are somehow trying to get this as far to the election as they can, and then they'll just drop it. I guarantee you they'll drop it. And don't let Joe Biden win. If Joe Biden wins, you'll probably never hear anything about COVID again. You'll probably never hear anything about it. And if Trump wins, depending on how we do the election, whether it be mail-in ballots or whatever, they're going to find some way to, to say he's, uh, you know, cheated or, or whatever. And they're going to be just as surprised as they are in 2016 because they actually, they actually said, oh, Trump is using his tactics from 2016 and doing, you know, just acting the same way as he always acts. Well, aren't you doing the same thing? Every time I, I, I turn on CNN, they want to reference a poll or, or do this. The, the polls killed y'all last time. They're killing y'all this time. Every, all, everything that you guys talk about is based on some poll. And we know those polls are incorrect. And we know you, and you guys are clearly polling people to get the numbers in your favor. It would not at all surprise me. Everything else is rigged. Why wouldn't the polls be rigged? You guys have something to cover up. So you have all the motivation to do it. But anyway, I know this is kind of turning into a long rant, but people are tired of being held prisoner in their own home. My wife is tired. 
I'm tired. My kids are tired. Everybody's tired. They just want to live, live, live their life and, and go on about their way. And, and you know, if, 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 if I catch COVID, I'll deal with it then. But I am not going to run around fearful and, and to just completely give up like a year of my life to basically satisfy your political agenda. That's just not going to happen. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Am I just crazy? Am I? And should, 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 should I be worried all about COVID or this? Or do you guys think they're also blowing it out of proportion? And that they're using it to gain politically at the expense of others. And not just, like I said, from a standpoint of, of you know, people losing their, their livelihoods and, and what they've invested in businesses or, or any, anything like that. But the, the power that they're gaining and, and the way they're asserting it over us and testing how far they can get, you know, using government power to lock us down. It's clearly an invasion of our constitutional rights and at some point people need to start standing up and say you know what you just gonna have to come get me and it's just like the barber said he's gonna keep his store open i commend him for that and you know if, if any of you guys are in that area you want to look him up i believe it was texas i can't think of his name but it, it, it was on the news so it shouldn't be hard to find it. he was on cnn and fox man go get a haircut support this guy donate to this guy do whatever Keep him in business because it's people like that who are at the forefront of, you know, what we need to be doing to, to overturn this nonsense and to take stuff back, take our freedom back and to stop just handing it away to these power hungry Democrats who only care about power and keeping people down. All right. That's it. For real this time, I'm going to end it. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. All right. I'm out of here.